This is a five and three quarter inch pump, model DSF60. The air drive section on this model is identical to all other five and three quarter inch models. The cycling spool is here. This is the drive section. Pilot stems are on the opposite side and all parts are identical to other five and three quarter inch models. The difference between a standard pump and one with a distance piece is that there is a separation between the liquid section and the air drive with a vent to atmosphere. In order to replace the seal package inside of the distance piece, you will need to remove the T-body by cutting the lock wire and unscrewing the T-body counterclockwise. Use wire cutters to cut the lock wire on both sides of the distance piece. This wire can be discarded and does not need to be replaced. Removing the lock wire allows you access to the check valves. Loosen the 2 inch nuts on both the intake and outtake valves. In order to loosen the T-body from the distance piece, you will need to first tap the left side check valve with a mallet. Carefully tap the T-body counterclockwise until it is loose enough to unscrew by hand. Also remove the spacer from inside the distance piece and keep it with the T-body. To access the internal parts of the distance piece, it is necessary to disassemble the air drive section and remove the piston rod. Start by loosening the four tie rods and remove them along with the brackets. Now use a screwdriver to pry off the vent screens on the sides of the distance piece. Next, pull off the back casing from the air drive section and push the piston plunger all the way in. This will reveal the cotter pin inside the vent screen port. Use needle nose pliers to remove this cotter pin. Once you remove the cotter pin, you can use a long object to push the connecting pin out from the piston rod. This will allow you to remove the plunger assembly completely from the distance piece. Inside the T-body you will find the small bearing, a cup seal, and the internal spacer. The internal spacer and the bearing will not be included in your seal replacement kit, but you should inspect both of these parts for wear or damage. The cup seal will be included in your kit along with the packings for the check valves. Refer to the hydraulic check valve and seal package lesson to replace these parts. Remember to refer to your operation and maintenance manual for proper parts and model numbers. Also included in your hydraulic seal replacement kit are these tools that will aid in replacing your new cup seal back into the T-body. First, put the internal spacer back into the T-body. Next, place the tool ring over the top opening of the T-body and place the new cup seal into the ring. Now use the push plug tool to push the new cap seal down into place. Once it's in place, you can replace the bearing and the large spacer. After you've replaced and reassembled all parts provided for the check valves and the T-body in your kit, you can screw the T-body back into the distance piece. Once the T-body is snug, use a mallet to tap the T-body until it is horizontally in line with the pump casing. There is no specified torque requirement, just make sure that it is horizontally in line. Now you're ready to reinsert the piston plunger. When reassembling the piston plunger, it's helpful to make a mark on the shaft to aid in the realignment of the connecting pin. Line up this mark with the hole in the distance piece and then slide the piston shaft into place. Once it's in place, you can reinsert the connecting pin through the shaft. Use the new cotter pin provided in your seal replacement kit to secure the opposite end of this connecting pin. Reinsert the vent screens into the distance piece ports. Now you're ready to reassemble the air drive section. First, replace the air barrel. Next, replace the end cap. Be sure your pilot tube and flow tube are lined up and fitting properly. Tap with a mallet to assure a snug fit. 
Finally, replace the tie rods and brackets and re-tighten the nuts using a cross-tightening pattern. Be sure to refer to your owner's manual for proper torque specification. This concludes the hydraulic seal replacement procedure for these models.